Good morning and welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for all you guys born in the year of the monkey. So if you're a monkey person, this reading is for you. Let's uh, give these a quick shuffle up. And we'll see what the cards are saying this week. Let's just move them about a bit. Again, just a reminder, I do do this with my eyes closed, so you're going to have to bear with me. It's <laughs> a lot of feeling about and peeking through just to see where the cards are slipping out, like that one. Get back here. And moving them about again, closing the eyes again, shuffling them about. Let's see where we're at. Let's start. There, I think. We'll take that one from the bottom. We'll take that one from the middle. We'll take that one from the top. What have we got? Okay, we've got a white, white, white. That looks good. That's a good start. Or is it deceiving? Because, as I've said before, white doesn't always mean all right. There may be some positive things happening right now, but it's about the compatibility on the other side. So we'll flip them over and we'll see. Okay, so the dragon card. Good card for a monkey. Very compatible. Best of allies, best of friends, pretty much soulmates, pretty much go together like a jigsaw piece. Good start. It is a karmic card. So there's some good karma coming in here. We've got some positive karma coming in. This is good. Obviously, you've been doing something that has warranted some kind of karmic energy to come through universally and to start lifting this mood up. So that's good. I think right now you need yourself in a clear minded position. And I think right now, you need to be kind of almost uh, fiercely loyal to whatever it is that you are doing or whatever your cause is, whatever your goal is, whatever your passion is. I think right now, your mind has to be strategic, strategic, and uh, that mind for strategy will help you to navigate through whatever it is that you are going through because you've obviously got things to do the dragon is a doer card you are a doer person you're in the same affinity triangle very compatible card um so there is things to do maybe some persuading to do a bit of persuasion is needed and a strategic mind um i think right now you need to uh you need to adapt you need to work things out you need to figure things out, and you're going to do that. You're going to do that quite well. You are going to be able to uh, navigate through this because you will find yourself. You will find yourself having more confident. You're going to see yourself having more confidence. That confidence is going to come in. You're going to start boosting it and and lifting up and start moving from where you are to where you're supposed to be. And I think as well in this respect with that dragon there. It can give you confidence. It will give you a bit of a boost. And I think you're going to be able to... Uh, I think you're going to be able to get through this and um, push on through with great ease. Like, I'm not saying that things are going to be great and easy and that everything's going all well and good because the white cards don't mean everything's going all well and good. But I do think that you're going to breeze through this bit now from this point in a relatively easier way because you've got that dragon there on your back. You've got a dog jumping in there. <clears throat> That's the opposite of the dragon. Um, and again, I mean, the dog and the monkey, they don't necessarily have any animosities. There isn't any real incompatibilities, but the dog is a bit of a different card. The dog is basically looking out for yourself. The dog card is literally, you need to protect yourself. You need to be there and, and recognize when you're feeling quite down and exhausted, if you like, or feeling quite drained. You need to respect <clears throat> sorry you need to respect that you need to uh, acknowledge that with that dog being the opposite of the dragon as well we're shifting from one to the other here which is an absolute um opposite uh sort of thing like the dragon is the conflict line of the dog so whereas the dragon here is you having that karmic energy you having things to do you being recognized and having that sort of uh, confidence boost and feeling like, you know, recognition, feeling recognition. You've also got that dog there where you are, you are trying your best to potentially be more than you are. You're potentially trying to um, 
I don't know, things are starting to happen now where interests and things are starting to conflict. And you need to be aware of where you stand. You need to make sure that you're not in any way putting yourself in a position where you're going to be pulled from one place to another or, in some senses, knocked down or pushed around because you're trying to be there and help people and and have a uh, kind of more non-selfish approach. I think right now, because of this dog here, you're doing a lot of stuff. And this is probably why you've got this good karmic card here, the positive karmic card, because you are doing a lot of stuff for you, but you're also doing a lot of stuff that is sort of second-handed for you. So it's like it's a consequence. All the things that you're doing for other people, all the things you're doing for those around you, all those things, because that's what the dog is. The dog is a sort of a card of helping people. It's about equality for everybody. It's about let's protect everybody. Let's listen to everybody. Let's have this um, kind of fairness and and kind of share ideals and stuff like this. And I think right now you have to be there for people and you have to, you're, you're being there for people or being there for someone or you're being there for others because that's what the dog card does. It's being there for others and things like this. And I think that, the consequence of that is going to be this good karma. It's going to come back around. It's going to come back around because you've uh, you've put the work in. Oh, we've got a catalyst card, the rabbit. So we've got some changes coming as well, which is kind of, uh, kind of uh, logical because the dragon is a karmic card and things often change after that. Uh, especially when it comes to moods, emotions and things. Um, like I say, you're going to start to feel uplifted. I think right now, you do have a superior intelligence. You do have a mind that works incredibly well. And as things start to change very rapidly and quickly, you are going to have to adapt and you're going to have to use that monkey mind of yours to kind of cope with it, to kind of, uh, you know, keep up with it. There is going to be a lot of, uh, I want to say, um, hard work or, I mean, that dragon is, again, it's a do a card. So there is hard work. It's going to be exhausting. It's going to be, um, I want to say, I don't want to say that it's going to drain you, but it's definitely going to be hard to, to keep up with everything. That, that rabbit is moving in very quickly, moving in very quickly. It's a case of, uh, realistically change happening right before your very eyes and you're not really able to do much about it. You can't change it. You can't uh, stop it. You can't do anything. All you, have, all you can do right now is adapt to it. You have to adapt and you have to navigate through it. Especially considering, like, even though these cards are all white, we've got that dragon card with the karmic energy. We've got that dog card there with that uh, sort of protection and equality energy. And then we've got that rabbit with a rapid change energy and that catalyst. If you want to know more about the catalyst cards or the uh, karmic cards, then do hit the subscribe button because we will be doing videos about that in the future. As well as uh, the other cards for the other triangles and stuff like this. Because um, as I say, the dragon is in the affinity triangle of the monkey. We have done that video before. So that one is actually up. So if you want to know more about your own affinity triangle, then go and check that video out. Because they're, they're, that one's already up for the doers. And that dragon is in that one. Um, but the catalyst cards as well are coming up. Because the, uh, the rabbit, the sheep and the boar. They're, 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 signs of ch they're signs of change, they're catalytic, there's, there's a whole universal energy thing and a shift happening right now, and I think right now it's going to affect you and it has affected you, and I think you're going to have to, as I say, use that intelligence, you're going to have to navigate through it, you're going to have to see, see it for what it actually is, that's what you need to do, but I think right now as well, you need to be aware that there is more to this than you can see, karmic, and catalyst you won't necessarily know why you're going through what you're going through you won't necessarily get the bigger picture until further down the road but right now in this space you are moving into a better place rather quickly or at least you will do in some way and don't forget that this is all a matter of perspective if you have the eyes to see it you will see it but if you're walking around blind then you're not going to but i do think your confidence is going to take a bit of a boost because I think that you're going to have uh, the recognition that you deserve. You do. You, I think that's what it is. You need recognition. When you get that recognition, your confidence will start to soar. And I think that's what you're needing. You need, and you need some clarity as well, I think. I think there's, there's a bit of clarity that's needed. And you need to kind of... Or it's starting to happen. 
you're starting to gain some clarity. But we'll find out next week, won't we, when we come back and do another reading for you monkey people. And I'll be back later on this afternoon for a reading for all those people born in the year of the rooster. So if I don't see you then, I'll see you next Friday for another reading for you monkey peoples. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Love and peace.